It is a Friday and it's a beautiful day outside. It's a good day to go thrift and we're gonna hit a couple good wheels today to see what we can find to flip online for a profit. All right, these are some good shoes right here. Good pickup. Timberland boat shoes are usually always a good pickup, especially in this style. They have ones that are a little bit more rugged, but if you look these up, there's a whole bunch that went on bid and they went for super cheap, like 15 bucks. Look for the ones that weren't on bid that sold pre-owned and they go for 25 to 30 dollars. These are in really good condition. Very little wear on the back here. Um, very little wear on the inside. Put a little Doc Martens leather bomb on these. They'll look brand new and they'll probably sell for about 30 to 35 bucks plus shipping. Kayla just picked up a awesome pair of shoes. I'm gonna show you all because I think I walked right by them and didn't notice them, but she uh, she picked them up. So these bad boys, all corduroy without the thing on the side. Oh, there is the thing right there. Must have been hard to see in the picture. But um, these things go for like anywhere between 30 and $60. Nice. Yeah, that's a good pickup. I think I actually walked by these because I didn't know what they were. But And they can clean up. Really yeah, nice. they only got like a little thing right there. But other than that, you know what the easiest way to clean these things up is in our magic eraser? Mm -hmm. Man, clean those things up. They look brand new. Easy $60 hairs. She also picked up a uh, pink windbreaker, 20 bucks, and then something called free fly. Free it's fly. Made out of bamboo. It's made out of bamboo. So it's it would very float. Soft, very nice. <laughs> you I wouldn't think, think you wouldn't think the bamboo would be soft. No. No, nah, but soft bamboo shirt. So I mean I'm not saying I proved you wrong, but I did know that bamboo was the fastest growing, probably not real. <laughs> Gucci definitely not real. Bamboo is the fastest growing grass plant. It's in the Guinness Book World Records. She didn't know that. She said that that's not true, but bamboo grows super, super fast. That's why they make clothes out of it. Very sustainable. Soon they'll make fuel out of it. Learn something new today. Yeah. All right, so this thing caught my eye. It doesn't look like it has the blade, which would be a pain. That says $19.99. They got it for $16.99. I wonder if it doesn't work. I'm gonna go plug it in real quick to make sure it does, because it's weird that they, they dropped the price on it. The base alone goes for $32, so it would be 10 bucks made on that, then the bowls on these always go for some money. Let's make sure the base works. I'm confused where the blade would go. Honestly, like, what is that? Got her working. But she works. Yeah. Pretty clean, just wipe it down. Easy triple up on your money here. Then I found a Wilson leather small book bag. Turns out these bad boys go for like 30 to 40 bucks, so that ain't too bad. Looks like Kayla found a whole bunch of plush, maybe. Let's see what she's doing over here in the plushes. Ma'am, is this your card? It's my card. That's your card? Who is this thing? What is that? Is that a kitchen aid? Yeah, it's missing the blade though. Look at this. What is that? It's like a, what do you call those? Uh, pup, 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 uh, pup, uh, Mary, yep, Mary, yeah. That's fine. That is good. Cool. What are you doing here? Quick swing bat trainer. There's, it's missing something, right? This would be, what is this? Man, they got weird contraptions here today. We gotta look up the back trainer because some of these things are worth a ton of money. Look at these Keens. They're nice. Keens usually have a model number in them too, so they're easy to run to see how much they're worth, but they look pretty good. They look like sheepskin. Thanks. But. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, look at that. He's too cool for school. School's out. School's out for summer. Um, yeah, he's a cool builder bear. I've never seen one like that before. <laughs> and F shoes. That is, um, that is, um, Felix the Disney baby. No? Felix? Yeah. Huh, Pegasus. The Disney baby. 
off of Hercules. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever watched Hercules before. What? Yeah. I just look in the mirror to watch Hercules. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be Keen 1009334. Let's see what you say on the interwebs. Really? Rip. I thought they'd be way more worth more than that. They didn't even sell. All right, well, we're putting these back, but that's how you look up Keen shoes is that uh, code on the inside. There he is. Confetti 15 inch. Um, yeah, he's probably 15 inch. He's got 30 bucks. What? And he's got a shirt on. Dino shirt. Really? He doesn't smell bad. Oh, I'm going to sneeze now. Oh, jeez. $55 for the baby. All right, if you find the baby confetti little dinosaur just like that he goes for $55 this one there goes for 30 so we're definitely picking him up so that was good did you pick up uh what's your name from yeah. my sister would love this that's what I, I, was, I was gonna look her up it's Disney Parks what's her name uh, I don't know I can't remember but that's from uh, Night of a Thousand Candles <laughs> Man, we need our ginkgo biloba today. We can't think of nothing. This is um from Nightmare After Christmas. <laughs> the Nightmare Before Christmas. Before. Okay. Before after Christmas. One or the that. other. Not bad in there. We got the KitchenAid up there. We got Mr. Confetti Dinosaur who goes for way more than we thought, like 30 bucks. Everything only costs 24 bucks. This one right here might actually give us $24 back. So right there, that and everything else will be profit after that. Again, Wilson leather bag right here. I did look it up and these actually sell for like pretty good and actually the sell through rate is really nice. Thing is, is when you look that up, when you look up Wilson leather bag, it always comes up to tennis racket brand. If you look up like Wilson leather and then like company bag, it usually pops up with one of those. So that wasn't too bad. Now this is a pretty good deal right here. This is a Toyota Prius radio it's all stuck on stuff there you go and these usually do work um i mean usually people just take them out because they put new stuff in and i don't test them i just sell them as is just make sure the tabs which are okay on this one make sure that they're there this thing is in here for 3.99 and it sells online for about 60 bucks so that right there is a good deal and uh, they flip very slowly but they usually do flip well so this thing's pretty cool. Actually, if it had a certain lampshade on it, it goes for like 80 bucks. But it doesn't have that specific lampshade, so it's only worth like $15. But they're saying it's vintage. I don't know about it. Yeah, could be. I don't know. You squeeze it, it sounds vintage. Come, come check this out, see what you think. Got Simply Southern Collection. Brand new with the tag. It says, Happy Birthday, Jesus. Okay. Jesus. All right, well, there's not just one. There's two, three, four, five. Yeah, all band spanking new. Just call Nana. Just call what? Just call Nana because I'm way too cool to be called Grandma. Oh, I got a winner here. Old John Lennon. Here you go. Put that one in the cart. Yeah, brand new. These are all brand new. I mean, they're not worth anything. These are all those shirts. Tied to Auburn. Are they on gilded tags, though? Yes. What's the tag say? Official licensed collegiate product. Tied to LSU. Yeah, I mean, there's ECU right there. So if y'all want one of these, they'll probably be like 15 bucks plus shipping in our store. And they're super lightweight, so shipping will be cheap. So that's a really nice blanket we just found. Usually I don't look at the blankets, but there's a lot of money to be made in blankets as long as they're clean. This one's more of a throw. That's the company right there. And it's made in the United States, so we're gonna go ahead, we looked it up. Looks like those for 30 bucks. Blankets here are pretty cheap. So I think that's gonna be 100% a buy. All right, that has to be the most expensive Goodwill trip ever. I don't think we've ever spent over 150 bucks and we bought all these shirts for $160. And uh, you already saw all of them, but I'll show them again real quick. I'm not gonna show you all, like, cause it was a lot. It was a lot of shirts. But I think they're all brand new. Simply Southern sells pretty well for us. There's a big following for it. Some of the shirts only go for like five or six bucks. Uh, the ones we got, we think we can probably get around 
probably 12 to 15 plus shipping. They were a 489 to so round it up to five bucks. So you're talking $5 in profit a shirt and there's a ton of shirts here. So I'm pretty sure that we just probably made $200. The thing is, it's not a lot of listing here. It's going to be a quantity listing. Most of these are the same size. So you take one picture of a shirt, you put it up, you say you got 10 items. It takes you very, very little amount of time. So that's not bad. If they were all different sizes, that would be much harder to list. But since they're all the same size, that is a really good pickup. First shirt right here, tied to Auburn. And on the back, little hair tie. Very cool, all brand new. Look at this though. 2015 is the date here. I keep this long enough, it'll be vintage. But that's not too bad. Another shirt right here says Simply Faithful. It's got a little elephant on it. Again, these are all brand spanking new, designed and printed in the United States. This does not have a back piece. So it's like a three-quarter sleeve a uh, small very very nice shirt we only got one of these blessed to be called nana there you go simply southern also size small we got kayla here so it's a lot easier if the oceans roar your greatness so will i simply southern size small good looking shirt that's the back that's the front again everything will be on our ebay store by the time this thing drops all right, here's another one, it's Simply Southern Collection. It's got a crab on it. You love blue crabs. Yeah. All right, what's the front look like? The front is, oh, the American flag right there. Perfect for your July 4th celebrations. Size small again. Happy birth, yay, Jesus. It doesn't say day. I think that's a misprint. Did you look at the listing? No. Did it say day or yay? I have no idea. Is this a misprint? <laughs> Who knows? We got them in store for Christmas. <laughs> Do all these have misprints? Did we read the words? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. That would not be funny. It'd be $160 wasted. So not a bad day out there thrifting. We'll take it. I think the shirts, we'll see how the shirts do the brand new shirts. I know they're not high end and stuff like that, but Simply Southern does sell pretty well for us. If we could just make $5 a shirt, that's gonna be over $200 in profit. It's only four listings because they are the same size and they're the same shirt. So it's a multi quantity listing, which is the easiest listings for us to do. We list one and then all you do is put them the rest in poly bags. When it sells, boop, and another poly bag and out the door it goes. It's one of the fastest ways to sell stuff. If you had replenishables, that is the way to do it. If you could have constantly get like one item in that sells really, really well, that would be really easy to do. Multi quantity listings, I like a lot. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed to it, subscribe, comment down below, like the video. You know, I will always get you on the next one.